Are you ready for today's true Bible story? Pharaoh had just told God's people to leave Egypt to get out. So they did. But it wasn't long before they ran into trouble. They were camped by the Red Sea when they heard that Pharaoh had changed his mind about letting them go. Pharaoh's coming. Oh no, we're trapped. What could they do? They were trapped. It's not like they could swim across the Red Sea. Moses said, don't be afraid. Watch the Lord rescue you today. When Moses raised his staff, God parted the water so his people could walk through on dry land. It was a miracle. Hurry, let's go. This is amazing. Look what God is doing. After crossing the sea, Moses led God's people into the wilderness. Their lives were really changing. But, uh uh-oh, trouble again. They traveled three whole days without finding water. They were so thirsty. Of course, the people blamed Moses. They mumbled and they grumbled and they complained. Oh, we're thirsty. Moses, where are you taking us? We're so thirsty. They kept mumbling and grumbling, complaining and whining to Moses. Moses, we're so thirsty. Moses, we're tired. Moses, do something. Finally, they found water at a place called Marah. But the water was too bitter to drink. Yuck. Ew. The people were so upset that God told Moses to toss a piece of wood into the water. When he did, the water was suddenly good to drink. Another miracle. But soon the Israelites started complaining again. Moses, we're hungry. Moses, why are we stuck in this wilderness? Moses, we're going to starve. So God said he would give his people food. Every morning, God sent a strange food called manna. It covered the ground and tasted like honey wafers. Every evening, God sent birds called quail to eat. God's people went through a lot of changes in those 40 years, but God was always good and he always took care of them. Remember, when life changes, God is good.